if you're um, trying to apply for an IAM position, IAM, when it comes to identity access management, this means that you are the person responsible for creating users, mm-hmm. creating groups, handling permissions. If you want to make that happen, you have to have a very good and deep understanding on how IAM authentication works in different environments. Understand Active Directory, how it works mm-hmm. in Windows. Understand LDAP on Linux. So set up an LDAP server on Linux and then define users in it and then see how you can communicate with it. You have to understand OUs, organizational units. You have to understand DNs, distinguished mm-hmm. names. You have to understand RDNs, relative distinguished names. These mm-hmm. are things that are considered um, questions, all different domains of IAM. You have to understand how you can refer to a specific entity. Now, let's say you're applying for this job in AWS. Then you have to understand how AWS IAM works because AWS has a service that is called IAM. Yeah. So study it, try to work with it. You have to understand how to create users, groups, and roles because roles are very, very important. How do you, for example, in a cloud environment, allow one service in the cloud to communicate with another service in the cloud. You have to do that by using IAM roles. How do you configure that? How do you configure OAuth, mm-hmm. open authentication? How do you configure SAML? How do you configure um, federation? So for example, if you want to configure SAML, the concept of SAML is that you have an authentication provider, let's say Active Directory already on your on-prem network. And you want the same people in your on-prem network to communicate with the cloud services in AWS. But if you have 200 users inside your on-prem network, you don't want to go to AWS and create another 200 users. This means you have to go and set up federation. On your local Active Directory network, you set up federation, you go to IAM and configure it so these two can connect together. So all the users, when they authenticate with Active Directory, they have access to AWS as well. What about OAuth? You have a web application. And your web application, you want to say, all right, for example, Facebook application, you have permission to use my pictures and do this. That's OAuth. The person in charge of the resources is giving permission to another application, in this case, like Facebook, to deal with the resources that in cases are your pictures. So understand the concepts of OAuth, SAML, LDAP, IAM, and know how to deal with them. Because when you go to an interview, they ask you one question, they wanna see how much you know around it. It's not a good idea to say, um, um, if they ask you, okay, have you ever worked with authentication systems? And you say, yes, nope. You, they, they're looking for this. Have you ever worked with authentication systems? Yes, I've worked with Active Directory. I work with AWS IAM. I can set up an LDAP server on Linux. And um, if you want to specify, um, you know, create a user in Windows, this is how you do it. If you want to create a uh, you know, user in AWS, you create an IAM user, you give it permissions by using this. And then if you want to allow two services to communicate, then you're going to be creating a role, allowing this service to access that service, all these different things. If I want to allow my um, on-premise environment to communicate with cloud or um, do single sign-on. I'm going to configure federation on my Windows server on-premises and then connect it to AWS and things like that, right? So IAM has its own specific domain, but these are the concepts that you have to look for. Take a look, federation, SAML, OAuth, LDAP, Active Directory. Look all of those on YouTube. Start to look at different videos, how it's configured, take notes, federation, how does it happen? How does it happen on Azure? So the more you know, the better. But I, I remember once I applied for a job in IAM and um, they were using this um, specific application in a bank, it was for a bank. And then um, I said, I have experience with all these different frameworks. Eventually I decided not to um, work with them, but if you know a lot about other IAM systems, and if there's a new system you're not aware of, they're going to say, okay, this person already knows his thing. His thing. So um, they can definitely figure out or we're going to give them a training and they will know how to use our system. So that's how it's supposed to work. 